Good morning, guys, and happy Wednesday, and I hope you guys are having just a great week so far. I'm reading through the book of Proverbs with some guys, and there was just a great concept in Proverbs 4 that I want to share with you guys today. Now, in chapter 4, verses 25 through 27, we read this chunk. It says, Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. The book of Proverbs now is part of the wisdom genre of the Bible. Actually, wisdom is the applied knowledge of life lessons. It's not enough to simply know the things that we read in Proverbs. We must put them into practice in our lives. When we successfully put those things into action, we will see life change and we will avoid the consequences of dumb decisions that we so often make. This section in particular is talking about our integrity and our purpose. You know, Solomon uses this imagery of a person walking on a narrow path. He encourages us to keep our eyes fixed on the path in front of us and not to get distracted by what's on each side of that path. Where we see the word ponder, some translations actually have that part as make level. So we are to to level out the path in front of us so that our way will be sure and steady and our feet won't get tripped up. We're warned to not stray to the right or the left. Instead, we stay right smack in the middle of the path that God has for us. This isn't to be confused with inaction, though. In fact, to not get pulled to the side requires a lot of action from us. We have to tune out the voices that are calling for our attention while constantly looking back to God for direction. This world does everything it can to pull believers off the path. Why? Because then we become ineffective for the kingdom and we become just very lazy. The passage closes out with this great challenge to not get sidetracked, but to keep your feet from following evil. Guys, there have been some seasons of my own life when I have listened to the voices that pull me away from the path that God has before me. In those seasons, I was never content. I felt lost. I felt without purpose. And it wasn't until I was able to shake those voices from my ears, focus back on the path that God had for me, that I realized I had strayed away from the path to begin with. So I challenge you guys this week to all heed Solomon's words. Keep your eyes focused on God. Don't let anything distract you from that walk. And if you feel your feet are getting into the gravel on the edge of the path, guys, refocus and find the center of that path again. Even if you are off the path and halfway down the side of the mountain at this point, don't think that God can't bring you back, right? He can, he will. We just need to be willing to surrender whatever it is that's led us off the path and lean back on him and his guidance. Guys, if you're in a season where you feel distant or you're floundering in life, don't wait another day. Start getting back on that path right now. Focus back on your relationship with God, your obedience to his teachings and his commands, and your love for other people. With those things guiding your life, you will find yourself back on that path soon enough. Guys, have a great rest of your week. Stay on the path and we will see you all real soon.